Okay, we're gonna do lesson 12-6 in your workbook. Okay, Monica and her friends measured the lengths of their shoes. Show this data by marking a dot for each length on the number line below. Measure the length of one of your shoes. Add a dot to represent that length on the number line. Okay, I don't have a ruler at home and I'm assuming you guys don't have a ruler at home. So um, we're just, I want you to just guess how much, how long you think your shoe is. So I'm gonna say mine is probably nine inches, but you just make a pick and put it wherever you want. Okay, so now what we need to do here is we're gonna, a line plot, this is a line, right? And a plot is when we draw dots above it, okay? So this friend, Amelia, her shoe length was eight inches. So we're gonna put one dot above there and I'm gonna put a check mark to show I already did that one. Then Bobby, his shoe was eight and two fourth inches. So I'm gonna find that right there. I'm gonna put a dot right there. And you wanna to try to keep your dots evenly spaced apart as you go up, okay? Nine and one fourth. So I'm gonna put a dot there at nine and one fourth. Eight and two fourths, I already have one. So I'm gonna put a dot above that. Nine and one fourth. Now see what I mean? I'm gonna to try to line this up so that it's kind of even with that one. Another nine and one fourth. Nine, so I'm gonna to try to even it up with that. Nine and one fourth. Oh, another one. Nine. And eight and one fourth. Okay, so when looking at this, is this is like it's a graph, right? Can you tell? which measurement most people had, what was like the most common uh, measurement would certainly be nine and one fourth. And you can tell that and see, because you kept those even, the four is higher than the three, okay? And then what was the least? It would be tied between an eight and eight and one fourth, okay? And we could take this, it wants to know like, are there different ways you could result that? Sure, you could do a bar graph. Um, or I could even make a table, right? If I wanted to on that. Just like this, this is already in a table, right? We took it from a table and put it into a line plot, but we also could have done a bar graph, you know, where we did these things, right? Okay, let's take a look at the back. Now again, this lesson we're gonna do, we're gonna get the line plotting out of it, but we're really not gonna get the measurement out of it because I just don't know who has rulers at home and who doesn't. So if you have a ruler, you are welcome to do some of those um, extra ones that will um, kind of challenge you and help you do your measurement. If we were in the classroom, I'd have my handy dandy rulers, but we don't. All right, so Anna is measuring the length of her crayons. How can she use a ruler to measure to the nearest one-fourth of an inch, okay? When it says fourth inch, it's it's like this, right? One-fourth of an inch. So if this is her ruler here, okay, it's saying nearest, which means it's not perfect, okay? So it goes right to here. So we have to decide which fourth of an inch is that closer to, this one or this one? I would say that one, it's gonna be closer to 10 fourths, okay? And again, thinking, building on what we did yesterday, one fourth, two fourth, three fourths, four fourths, that's one inch. Five, six, seven, eight. Eight fourths is two inches, and 12 fourths is three inches, okay? So this is, 10 fourths is more than two inches, okay, so it's two whole inches and one, two. It's really two inches, and two extra fourths, right? You have two inches and one, two, two fourths of an inch, okay? Um, so let's say Anna measured her nine other crayons and she recorded it in a line plot, which is this, right? So we have one and three fourths, two. Two and one fourth, two and two fourths, two and three fourths. Obviously most of her crayons or the, the largest number of crayons were two and three fourths inches. And then she had only one that was one and three fourths inches and two that were two and two fourth inches. Nathan also made a line plot showing the lengths of his crayons. Tell three things about the lengths of Nathan's crayons. Okay, so I would say, if we wanna say three things, I would say 
More of his crayons are two and one fourth inches than anything else. Um, he only has one crayon that is one inch. Um, his longest crayon is two and three fourths inches. And his second most popular length would be one and three fourths inches. So pick any three of those and write them down there. You can pause it. But you just wanna like pick out some interesting things that you see there, okay? All right, let's take a look at the guided practice. Again, I don't have a ruler. I don't know how to show that. I mean, I don't know how to measure that. Um, it looks like it's a little bit less than three inches to me. Maybe it's a little bit more. It's it's somewhere between three and four inches. So on a line plot, however long that is, we would draw our line and, and that's where we put the dot about however long that is. Sorry, that, that's not very helpful without a ruler, but there's not much really we can do on that. Okay, draw a line plot to show the data. Okay, so what we need to do is draw a line plot. Okay. And our smallest is three and one fourth, and our biggest is four. So this is gonna be three. This is gonna be four, okay? And we have one, it's gonna be three and one fourth, three and two fourths, and three and three fourths. And what that means is it's three inches and one fourth. It's three inches and two fourths. It's three inches and three fourths, or it's four inches. So now I want you to put a dot above each one of these. I want you to plot this on here, okay? So pause it, plot that, and then come back. Okay, so three and one fourth goes here, three and three fourths goes here, three and one fourth goes here four goes here, and three and two fourths goes there. Okay, measure your pencil to the nearest fourth of an inch, show the length of the line plot. Again, I don't have a ruler, so we're not gonna be able to do that. Okay, if you have a ruler and you wanna measure it, that'd be cool, you can measure it and, um, and draw a line plot to show it. Daisy measured the length of her toy dinosaurs to the nearest fourth of an inch. She listed the lengths. Make a line plot to show the data. Okay, so we're gonna make a, a line plot over here. Okay, our smallest number is one inch and our biggest number is two and one fourth. So this has to be one inch, this has to be two inches and then it's gonna keep on going because we have two and one fourth over here. Okay, so we have, it's to the fourth so we're gonna draw three lines in between. Okay, so this is gonna be one inch and one fourth, one whole inch and two fourths, one whole inch and three fourths, and then we would have two whole inches and one fourth because that's two, okay? So I want you to make your, um, your, your, draw your little dots above there, okay? Pause it and draw a dot for each number to represent where that would be and then come back. Okay, one and two fourths, two and one fourth, one inch, one and two fourths, and one and three fourths. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Okay. Um, measure the length of the toy dinosaurs at the right to the nearest one fourth of an inch. Write the length for each toy. Okay, I'm gonna tell you because at least I have it here in my book for this one. One inch, this is one inch. Okay, from here to here is one inch. So that dinosaur is one inch. And then the bigger dinosaur is two and one fourth inches. And we're going to make a line plot just for these two. So we need one inch. It's kind of big. Oh, you know what? Oh, we're not gonna make a new line plot. This is perfect. Let's just plot this on there. So one inch should be go right here. And two and one fourth inches should go right there. Okay. Let's take a look at the back. Okay, already made a line plot 
to show the inches the different snails crawled at a five minute race. So here's all, you know, one snail crawled eight inches, two snails crawled eight and one fourth inches, three snails crawled eight and two fourth inches. Okay, all the way down to only one snail beat everybody and went 10 inches, okay? What was the most common distance that the nails crawled? The common would mean the most number of snails did it. So if you look at this, which one is the highest? This one. So what's the most common? Nine and one fourth inches, right? Okay. Um, how many more times did snails crawl more than eight and eight and three fourth inches compared to less than eight and three fourths? Okay, so here's eight and three fourths right here. Okay, so we wanna know more and less, okay? So more than eight and three fourths, okay, we're not gonna count eight and three fourths because we wanna know more, which is just basically going to be all of these guys. So count up how many those are and write that under more. Pause it. Okay, should be 19. Now, how many crawled less than eight and three fourths inches? Again, again you're not gonna count that because if they crawled eight and three fourths, that is not more than it and it is not less. So you're just gonna count these up, okay? And you're gonna write that there and then you have to find the difference between those. So pause it and come back. Okay, one, two, three, four, five, six. So you have to do 19 minus six and get 13. So that's because they wanna know how many more over here than over there, okay? All right, measure the length of 10 classroom objects. Okay, we can't do this. And you can't do that because that's plotting that. Okay, Jackson bought five books that cost $7 each. How much change did he get back from 40? Well, you need to figure out how much the books cost and then subtract that from 40. Okay, use the digits two, six, and eight to make as many three-digit numbers as you can. Hopefully you knew to pause that and, and work that out. Okay, um, two, six, and eight to make as many three-digit numbers as you can and then put them in the order from greatest to latest. Okay, so what you wanna do here is start with the two in the hundreds place, okay? And then it, you can put six and eight or you keep two in the hundreds place and then go eight and six, okay? Now we're done with two in the hundreds place. Now I'm gonna put six in the hundreds place and I can do two eight or eight two, okay? Now we can put eight in the hundreds place and I can do two six or I can do six two, okay? Tanya is making headbands. She re recorded the lengths of the different bows that she bought. Okay, which lengths did Tanya buy the most of? Choose all that apply, because you have a tie. So which two are the tie? Which ones did she buy the most of? Fill those in. Pause it if you're still thinking about it. Okay, these are the ties right here. So it should be one and two fourths. And one and three fourths. Okay, and this one, let's go ahead and correct for you. That would be $35, so you should be $40 minus 35. You just can get $5 back, okay? All right, great job.